Happy Friday, Year 2! We've got a really fun English lesson for you today. We'll start with our warm-up, as always, where we're going to explore conjunctions. And then we're going to be looking at different endings to stories, different types of endings. And we're even going to have a film quiz as our entry-level activity. And then we're going to go on to write our own endings. So enjoy today's lesson, everybody! So we'll just start with a quick warm-up which is choosing which conjunction should go in each sentence. So we've got a choice of and, because, or but as the conjunctions. Now remember how Mr Green earlier in the week was saying how the conjunction, you need to choose the, the correct conjunction so that both parts of the sentence make sense together. Okay, so number one is the little boy is wearing a hat, mm, a stripy t-shirt. So which conjunction would make sense? Number two, the boy broke the cloud maker, mm, then he fixed it. Number three, the old man was proud of the boy, mm, he used his imagination. So just pause the video now and decide which conjunction should go in which sentence. You can only use each conjunction once. Okay, pause now. Okay, so here we have the answers to our warm-up. Number one, the little boy is wearing a hat and a stripy t-shirt. Number two, the boy broke the cloud maker, but then he fixed it. Number three, the old man was proud of the boy because he used his imagination. So on to our main lesson. Now there is a sheet to print out for today's lesson and our learning objective is to write a story ending. So we have looked at a story mountain before and it basically shows what most stories do. So they start with an introduction where the characters and the setting is introduced which is what we've been writing about this week. Then there might be a bit of a build up where a few events happen. Then there's a big problem in the middle, usually, or something big happens. Then usually the, the problem is resolved, so that's the resolution start of the story mountain. And then you have your ending. Okay? And it's the ending part that we are really going to be working on today. So there's loads of different types of story endings, but we're just going to focus on four of them today. So you can have a very happy ending, and most children's stories do end happily. Then sometimes some stories have a very sad ending. You might have seen some films as well that might have a bit of a sad ending where things don't quite work out at the end. Sometimes you have a cliffhanger, which means you're sort of left hanging, okay? Almost like you're on the edge of a cliff and you're wondering, oh, what happens next? And they don't actually tell you. So you're just sort of left there hanging, wondering what's happened next for the characters. Or you might get a traditional ending, which is endings like in Cinderella and things like that, where the prince and the princess usually get married. There's usually a wedding at the end. Or they might say, and they never saw them again, like in Little Red Riding Hood. So that's a very traditional ending. Okay, so for our entry level, we are going to be doing a film quiz. Now, I'm going to show you four different film endings. So they're four story endings, and they're all different types of endings. One's a happy ending, one's a sad ending, one's a cliffhanger ending, and one's a traditional ending. So I want you to decide what type of ending each one is. And for a bit of fun, I want you to try and name the film. Now, I know there's one or two of them that are... Quite old film, so you might need to ask your parents to help you with that. Okay, so I'm going to show you the four clips now. No, 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 Marty. Both you and Jennifer turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Something has got to be done about your kids.
was the sweetheart. Okay, then I'm so sorry. Where's everybody else? Oh, baby, they couldn't come. They wanted to so much. Oh, no, no, I didn't fall asleep. In fact, I have drool all over your feet. You do drool. I spit. Shut up. Oh, you're very Let's go home. So make sure you've got your answers written down either under the entry level of the printout sheet or just on a piece of paper that you've got at home. And pause now because I'm about to tell you the answers. For number one, that the film was Back to the Future, which was in the 80s, um, and that was a cliffhanger film, um, because we didn't know what was going to happen next. It almost started something else new, and we didn't know what the next adventure was, but then there was another film after that, like a sequel. That's quite often what happens after a cliffhanger. 
Number two was Home Alone. If you haven't seen it, then you need to. And that is a happy ending. Number three was Beauty and the Beast. And that was a very traditional ending because they fall in love and get married at the end. And number four is The Iron Giant. And that was a very sad ending because his friend dies at the end. But for a very good cause. I hope you got them right. Now, the reason we've explored lots of different endings is so that you can change the ending to the cloudy lesson story that we've been looking at this week. So the ending of that story was, well, the resolution was when the boy changes the invention, the cloud maker, into something else. He makes it make different shapes of clouds, um, and that solves the problem And then at the end, the boy and the old man sit and look at what they've created. So it's quite a happy ending. So what we want you to do is think of a completely different ending for that story. So you might choose another happy ending. You might choose a sad ending. You might choose a cliffhanger ending. It's up to you. You might even try and make it a traditional ending. Okay? So... Have a think about what kind of ending that you might want to have. But before you pause the video to have a think about your ending, I want you to just have a look at my ending. Because challenge one is going to be to write my ending to the story. So you're going to use my pictures to write the ending of the story. And challenge two is going to be to think of your own ending. So you can choose either challenge one or challenge two. Now I've written some sentences, some simple sentences with some adjectives to describe my ending. Now you can use these sentences if you want to. I'm not going to write them down in front of you today like I have in the last two lessons, but if you want to for challenge one, you can listen to my sentences and write them down or think of your own sentences for my ending. Now it's a cliffhanger ending. Okay, so these are my sentences. The young boy blows into the cloud maker. He makes the biggest cloud ever. The old man is shocked. The huge cloud gets bigger and comes towards them. The little boy and the man step onto the cloud. The amazing cloud takes them on another adventure. So if we just have another quick look at today's challenges. Entry level was the film quiz, so you've already done that. Challenge one is to write Mrs Elder's alternative ending, my cliffhanger ending that I just read to you, using adjectives. Or you can do challenge two instead of challenge one if you want to think of your your own alternative ending. So write your own alternative ending using two A sentences, so that's sentences with two adjectives and conjunctions like and, so, but and because. Okay, don't forget the non-negotiables, capital letters, full stops, finger spaces and make sure you read your writing to check it makes sense. So here is our challenge sheet again for today. Um, So you can write on the challenge sheet or you can write on your own separate lined paper. And there's a separate sheet of lined paper that you can print out as well because you probably won't have enough room at the bottom of that page for your alternative ending. Don't forget to send in your work to us. We can't wait to read your alternative endings. Good luck.